Today we have with us graphic designer, Professor Merita Maria Teifone. Hello, welcome to the, this short brief interview. Could you tell us a few words about yourself first? Mm, I am a graphic designer, like Dimitri told. I am <clears throat> on pension now, but I am still doing freelance jobs. I have been studying in actually in Warsaw at the Academy of Fine Arts, like I, I graduated in 1976, so a long, long time ago. <clears throat> I have been practicing a uh, designer. I was also like 11 years uh, working as a professor of visual communication at Alta University. And since 2014, I have been coming yearly uh, to provide workshops uh, and the topic is social design here in Warsaw. That's great. Uh, to start things off with a general question, what do you love about the design? Asking stupid questions. That's, that, well, that's very true. <laughs> and would you give one of your favorite artists, what would you recommend, who would you recommend to look at? Oh, I have so many, I cannot nominate one single artist, but I would say that uh, in Finland already passed away. I, I, I will mention three artists that are not yet among, not anymore among us, okay? Three. Firstly, I would uh, like to tell that my favorites in Finland is uh, uh, Martin Mykkänen, and the second one is Tuve Jansson, the mother of Mumins. Oh, yeah. And she was a great designer, a great artist, really, truly, truly fantastic personality. Then if we go here in Poland, so of course my favorite is my previous professor, Henrik Tomaszewski, uh, with whom I did my uh, master's degree. And then in France, I would nominate, I have many, many good also design friends in France, but I would mention Michel Quares. We will put the names up for people good. to look at. Yes. Uh, next question is, why do you like to work with the students? Or do you like to work? I love to work with students, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't come here. Uh, what what I, I, I like to learn how the world looks through young people's eyes, because I am not so young anymore, so I love young people, really, truly I love them. And what is this workshop about for you? What, would you give a glimpse into it? I think the glimpse about this workshop and about social design is that we as designers and we who dare to ask these silly questions are changing the world by communicating the challenges and the problems of modern world. Every year what we, I have been coming here, we have had essential uh, problems stacking and discussing about essential problems like refugee crisis in Europe 2015, the state of independence, uh, the state of democracy, uh, overconsumption of the world of capitalist world, so, so uh, stop consuming uh, and, and live, live better life, uh, about uh, sustainable settlements, about sustainable cities, uh, and also last year we had the topic um, truth hurts, lies kill because of the all the fake news and about all the social media and hate, hatred speech. So only to mention a few of the workshops. And today, uh, this year, our topic is belonging. I happened to read uh, the book about one life, one planet, and it opened my eyes that you as young designers are the last, the, the only generation that can save the world, I mean the planet. So there's a lot of things to do. And what I want to mention is that today we had this fantastic Polish journalist who was telling us about Sahel, about the great green wall that is now going to be created in, in Africa. So this is fantastic example what people we can do. Also what I like a lot what he said then is because somebody of you asked that what you, we as designers, what is our role and what we can do. And he said the same thing by accident, what I told you yesterday, you need to vote. You need to be engaged in politics, in activism, 
to, in order to change the world. It is not about plastic or wooden tooth sticks or, or plastic bags or, or fabric plastic bags. It's much, much bigger issue. So be active, be radical, interfere, ask questions about politicians and so forth. And to close things up, because we're sitting in a room around all analog on paper works, what would you say is the thing in analog, in traditional art that would never be possible in digital? is your handwriting. You can immediately, me as a professional, I can immediately say if it's uh, handmade or if it's digital made. Perhaps the artificial intelligence will uh, evaluate in this way that is more and more difficult to say, but anyway, I will believe that our hand is our best tool and, and really to make it personal uh, interview in interference of, of, of design, and I have nothing against digital tools or digital uh, devices, not at all, I love them, but to combine these um, old-fashioned old -fashioned methods, it's super important for us to be able to use our hand. Thank you very much thank for you. answering these questions, and thank you for watching the first pilot episode of this podcast. Thank you.